Hi Capricorn, this is Wendy. Welcome to my channel, Wendy's Tarot. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards, what actions will they take towards you? What actions will they take towards you? So this is going to be for the weekend, March 26th to March 28th, 2021. Now, whoever it is that you are connecting to in love, just think about that person right now. And let's see what actions will they take towards you. Okay, just going to shuffle the cards really good. One last shuffle. Okay, what actions will this person take towards Capricorn? Please show me. Thank you, Spirit. First card we have for you, Capricorn, is the High Priestess, Upright. You might be dealing with a Pisces here. So this person's kind of being mysterious here, kind of elusive. They might be kind of hiding away a little bit, not really making themselves seen. Yeah, I get this energy of them like being in the dark or like hiding in the dark. Okay, what else do we have? We have here the Ace of Swords in reverse. So yeah, this person is not wanting to communicate. They might be cutting off communication with you over the weekend. Yeah, also the High Priestess, she's very silent. She's not much of a talker. She likes to keep her thoughts to herself. So I feel like this person is not going to be communicating a lot over the weekend with you. Yeah, all thoughts and opinions will be reserved. Okay, next card we have here is the Ace of Cups in reverse. Okay. So this is a card of love when it's upright, but when it's in reverse, this person is definitely shutting themselves shutting themselves off emotionally from you. They're not expressing emotions to you, they're not being affectionate with you, they're not really seeking you out. So yeah, just like in, it's like in all aspects, this person is just going to be like I said, hiding in the dark. Making themselves invisible. Yeah, it's like they don't want to talk and they don't want to be in contact with you. It, it's like this person needs their personal space at the moment. There's a lot that they need to meditate over or contemplate, um, analyze. Yeah, let's see what they what is it that they're meditating over. Let's get another deck. And let's clarify that high priestess. Spirit, please clarify this high priestess of right in regards to whoever it is that Capricorn is dealing with in love. What is this high priestess of right? Oh my god. Okay, so it's clarified by the High Priestess Upright twice. Well, this is a coincidence, isn't it? Um, <laughs> so it's really emphasizing this High Priestess energy. Um, you might be dealing with someone who's um, a witch. <laughs> someone who's into you know, um, divination, maybe someone who does witchcraft. They're blocking out all sorts, um, they're, they're blocking out their energy um, so that you can't read them and so that I can't read them either. <laughs> so, 
because the high priestess she is um extremely private and extremely elusive yeah it's really hard to to read the high priestess let's get another card let's see if we can get something out out of this here but yeah some of you might be dealing with someone who practices magic or witchcraft and who is manipulating the energies here um, they might be manipulating you energetically and emotionally and mentally let's get another card clarify the high priestess spirit and we have Yeah, we have the Queen of Swords in reverse. So, yeah, this person doesn't want to talk. They don't want anyone to know what they're thinking or feeling. They're extremely private. Um, and they refuse to, you know, to express themselves or to be truthful or honest. And it's not necessarily that they're not honest. It's just that they're private. They don't want anyone to know anything about them. So yeah, this person is definitely very strange energy Capricorn here that you're dealing with. Um, so I would definitely say be careful because it definitely feels like someone who's kind of dangerous. Who's in, in the sense that they're very sneaky um, and... They're very good at hiding themselves, and they're very good at manipulating energies and people. So yeah, um, this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone. So if it resonated, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video, Capricorn. Bye!